think you have some of your truck. I do. What, what are you going to do now? Get a chair. We're struggling with the chairs this year. <laughs> Can't keep track of which blinds have chairs and which ones don't. <laughs> Smile. Oh Lord, have mercy. Yeah, can you lean back just a little bit? Back, not left. You're trying to get me to get close to the spider. Oh, he just wants to be. He just wants us to all be, okay. be in focus. It is a warm Sunday, September 29th, and we managed to make it out here at the home farm. And we're after what buck, Bren? Krusty. Krusty. <coughs> Bren was really excited to hear that Krusty was still alive. It's a buck that uh, she almost got killed last year, yeah. but a, a coyote spooked him off. Huh? A big, humongous male coyote. Yeah, big male coyote. Yeah, we named the male um, coyote Fido, and my if I, didn't, if I didn't get Krusty the next day we tried hunting and I got another buck, he was bigger than Krusty, and we named him Chunky. Yeah. He's big. D is, wasn't he, didn't I help you name him Chunky? I, yeah, you were here when she came yeah. yeah, I helped you. And also, wasn't he the one where I found the bullet hole? Yes. Yeah. yeah, like he had like a, somehow like someone like shot him in the neck or something. Yeah. But he like still lived. All right, we're ready to get focused. We're gonna get quiet. And hopefully, hopefully Krusty shows up. Yeah. Let's get him. Let's, Let's get him. All right. Quiet. Yay. Well, that's a wrap for night three in the woods with Bryn. Uh, ended up having a doe group come out. It was four antlerless deer that worked the back of the plot. And then right at last light, we have a half rack buck back there that I was actually showing Bryn pictures of in the blind. I think he's just a three-year-old, um, but it was a little too low light to pull that off. 
And so three nights, warm conditions, you know, 85 degrees, northeast wind every night, very slow, muggy hunts, you know, a couple deer each hunt. So we're looking forward to some weather change coming up and hopefully we can get Bryn or one of the boys out this week sometime. Um, we got a south wind tomorrow, which opens the door for going back after that Aries buck and a couple other spots. I have a lot more south wind spots for early season than I do north. And then October 1st is just a couple days away. So uh, Ryan and I, of course, are thinking about our own hunting here coming up in a little bit. But um, youth season actually goes all the way through to October 6th. So I'm gonna still be focused on the kids this first week, except for the nights that they have other activities. We might try to make a sit um, with the bow in hand. But what do you girls think? I think it's really cool. Really cool? Did you have fun tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm tired. Ah. Oh, really? I'm also tired. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm glad you came, Anna. It's always good to come cheer Bryn on. I think that they should make youth, youth season longer so that we can hunt a little bit. What a great idea. We'll write them a letter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Where's the paper? <laughs> well, we'll see you guys next time we're out. Good luck if you're making it out yourself. Bye. Thanks for watching me. set up and uh, it is balmy in this blind it's obviously on the edge of the bean field sitting in the sun so it's like an oven I think the temperature outside is around 84 85 but it's probably a hundred degrees in this blind there's no breeze it's like a four mile per hour south southwest we can seed down into the brassicas we've got the beans you know in the last week they've really turned and defoliated but there's still some green in them Last time we set up over the beans and the corner, and we're just looking out this window down the brass because tonight we kept that window closed, blocked the sunlight. It's gonna be a lot easier for us to open this window over the beans as opposed to doing this if the deer are right here. So we're ready for if he did what he did last time, and if he comes out in the beans, we'll be able to maneuver and switch around. Aries is the buck we're after, and uh, excited to be out here because he's been as I mentioned on the drive over, he's been very frequent right here. What do you think, Tate? You ready? Let's get you your second buck. Okay, can you point at that little square? The solar panel.
We've seen nine deer so far. We saw both of those double throat patch does, and we had that big three-year-old, I think he's a three-year-old, small chance he could be four, but they came out down on that end of the beans and they worked their way all the way here, and I'm not sure what got him excited, but they cleared the field. Hopefully, he still shows up. Wendy. Wendy. She's what? she's in there though. Why'd you do that, Mike? Well, you know. Replication of environment. work. Crazy. She's still in the middle of the project. <laughs> Conditions are too good. We're slipping out for a hunt. It's October 1st. My side-by-side -side is still in work mode, not hunt mode, but Ryan and I have squeezed into it. This is our first hunt on October 1st in four years of me being in Iowa. Really? We've never actually set the first. There you go. Because usually it's 90 degrees. And... Well, the one day we came up there with that east wind you like, and then you just said, no, we're not going. So ah, just yeah, things. yes, yes. Never trust an east wind. And we killed chubs on an east wind. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Never speak in absolutes. There was another one. <laughs> Hold it. Yeah. <laughs> 